In our world today, we use day-to-day -day items and necessities that provide for our needs. These basic necessities are what drive us to be who we are. And as we use these tools, they benefit us in every way possible. Today we look back to the early stages of the internet, when Google started to revolutionize the way we learn. Google was founded in Menlo Park, California on September 4th, 1998 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. For those of you who don't know, Google is, they specialize in internet related services and products, while advertising software and cloud computing. Looking back a few years earlier in 1995, Sergey Brin shows Larry around Stanford campus. They share similar interests and ideas and both later became friends and started collaborating, collaborating on a search engine called Backrub while operating on Stanford servers. Almost two years after their meet, the, the domain google.com was registered. Through a few years of hard work on this project, in 1998, Google was founded and became a major success worldwide. In 2003, Google moved its offices to Mountain View, California, just about an hour and a half away. A year later, Google launched its own free web-based email service known as Gmail. This service was made to rival the free online services created by Yahoo and Microsoft. Currently, Google is used as a search engine, email platform, and includes many other helpful sources and features. When opening Google's search engine, you can enter anything and receive results such as maps, images, news, and more. There are other search engines surfacing around the internet such as Bing and Yahoo. Most people tend to use Google to search things rather than other related domains because of the quick, easy, and fast results you get. Google is especially helpful when one needs help with homework or needs to cite credible sources. Google has their own email service called Gmail. It has helped me tremendously on setting up my own email account. It's free, fast, and has great navigation. This email service makes emailing teachers a lot easier through my phone. Google also provides a free Google Documents, which I think is very helpful because I use it at every assignment where using this source is necessary. When you search something through Google, its results can direct you to recent news articles about what you just searched, making writing essays or doing other assignments easier to find legitimate sources. While Google was not the first web search engine around, it was revolutionary in its format and setup, allowing for an easy and uncluttered interface created to support Google users to be able to do what they wanted, which is searching for valuable information. The company has their own Google Giving program, a wide-ranging charity program that goes forward to give financial support, technology, and volunteer time to social and environmental setups. The scheme contains the Global Impact Awards, which, which provides funding for organizations and companies that present an innovative use of modern technology to do charitable work. What would the world be like if Google had not been invented? Would we be scouring encyclopedias for research, or would we never be able to show our friends the cool video that we took? Google has changed the way we find things and the way we learn. It is impressively easy to find information in a snap. Google has truly changed the world because we are all searching for something. I'm here interviewing Tim about Google, and we were going to ask him some questions. So, Tim, when did you first start using Google? It's actually Mr. McCarthy, not Tim. <laughs> so, I first started using Google over 10 years ago. I, I think it's been around longer than that, but I've used it uh, for research around work. And I have to research a lot of things around science and clinical information and financial information. So uh, I'd say it's probably 10 years ago when I started using it, at least. What are your favorite parts about Google? Uh, favorite parts really are just the ease of utilizing that website. Uh, back in the day, uh, your teachers may be too young for this, but we used to have to do research with uh, card catalogs and going through library stacks to do research. Um, we had to use a product called Microfiche. It was a system where you would copy periodicals and newspapers, articles, and, and uh, print them off, where now you have it within seconds, some of the information that would take sometimes uh, a couple hours to, to attain. We have produced a short skit showing how one guy can learn to ride a bike just by using Google. So, Connor, you ready to go on a bike ride? 
Yeah, but there's one problem. I don't know how to ride a bike. I've got just the thing. <laughs> All right. Google.com. This should be a quick search. Remove the training wheels, remove the pedals, inflate the bike tires. Alright guys, I'm ready to go. So Connor, you ready to go on your ride? Boys, I was born ready. <laughs>